right, man. So Los Angeles Rams are possibly getting cold feet about trading uh, Jalen Ramsey. Um, they're unsure after trust, you know, uh, testing the market on, uh, on you know what it will, you know what you know what they can get for him. I told y'all, man, you know what they was gonna try to get for him. It just didn't make. I already knew what they were shooting for. It just didn't make no sense. It just didn't make no sense, bro. Uh, they was trying to get a. They want a first or a second round, around packaged with some other additional stuff. So I'm guessing mid round picks or in a second package with like a third or a fourth, maybe. You know, I could see that, or maybe a, a third, fourth, or fifth, and a player, or something like that. <clears throat> I, I can, I can, I can, I can see something like that. But you got to remember, you got to pay him. So it ain't like he tied up in the contract. You got to pay him, and he almost thirty. So you know, and he ain't had a best year this year. And that, you know, you know, the front end and back end worked together, and Donald's broke down. So what they was, what they was looking for. Like they were about to hit the jackpot and get, and it's a corner. It's not a, a quarterback. So who want to throw a first for a corner, right? Then you got to pay him, and then he already thirty. So potentially, if he continue to you know slow down, which he is slowing down a bit, you probably gonna have to switch him to safety. And then you don't want to pay a corner. You don't pay a safety corner money. <clears throat> So they were saying Dallas, Kansas City was all suitors, but they don't have no money. And they would have to create cap and Kansas City did, you know, cut from Michigan's own Frank, Frank Clark and all that type of stuff. My thing is he more suited for a win now team. Detroit, they could be in win now mode. They couldn't be just we're gonna continue to build it and build it the right way. And when it happened, it happened. But giving up a first round pick for him, like hell no. Nah. There's too many other alternative routes that you can take. Bradbury, Greedy Williams. I mean, there's sure to be other guys to be released too. I told y'all it was gonna be a prefla guys to get released. <clears throat> I told y'all. It's gonna be a prefla of guys still to be released. So So, like, like I say, man, you know, the second and, and something else, you know, what would Detroit, man? Maybe Detroit said, I got a second and Jeff Okuda and a fifth, you know? Maybe it's DeAndre Swift. They need running back help, you know? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But that's that's them. That's what they gotta figure out. That's what they gotta figure out. And I knew I mean the same thing with Derrick Henry. It's the same exact thing with Derrick Henry. And the issue with that is he 29 years old. That's the magic number for running backs to start to decline or complete. I mean, it ain't even decline with most running backs. It's a complete fall off. He's already, he's a physical specimen, but he's a guy that's taking a lot of punishment already. You see what I mean? He's a guy that's taking a tremendous amount of punishment already. So how many people say, we got two or three good years left. You don't know that. He can fall off a cliff next year. So why would I give up high picks and a boatload for a running back or a cornerback? You got to understand, it's not like getting Aaron Rodgers in your franchise change, even at this point in Aaron Rodgers' career. It's not like Minnesota getting Brett Favre and your franchise change. And that was on the precipice of, 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 of the Super Bowl. If, you know... You know, Bounty Gate wasn't hitting the way they was hitting the Bounty Gate. So, you know, they set a price and I ain't mad at it. Now they say, well, you know, we, we gonna, we think we might just keep them. Or maybe they just cut them. I think they gonna say we gonna keep them. 
Of course. You was trying to get you was trying to get over and his value wasn't that high. Had he was 25, 26, 27 years old, it's a different conversation. Why not wait a year? Y'all cut him and I get him. Or wait to the trade deadline. Y'all sorry as hell next year. At the trade deadline, I get him for pennies on the dollar. It's as simple as that. There's alternative options out there, and there's still guys to be cut after June 1st that can temporarily help you or transition if you take a Christian Gonzalez, if you take the cornerback from Illinois. But the thing about it, when you draft the cornerback, the thing about it is that's a tough position to to immediately be great at. What Sauce Gardner did, Marshawn Lattimore did, and Marcus Peters did that rookie year, those are anomalies, bro. Those are anomalies. So really, it's a position <clears throat> that you invest in long term, and it's not as impactful as a pass rusher or interior lineman, as an inside linebacker, as a running back, as a quarterback. It's not impactful because I can avoid a cornerback. You know, I can take my receiver to the other side. I can stack them. If you want to travel, guess what? I can put him in motion. I can stack them on the line. I can line them up in the backfield. I, I can you have ways to avoid a corner. You know? And that's why Mark Mayhew didn't believe in drafting corners in the first round. And he was a DB himself. He didn't believe it. And I understood it, but they were so bad at corner that he eventually, I think, did end up having to take Darius Slay in the second round. And thank God he took Slay over Jonathan Banks. But he got they got to understand he older. And what they thought he was going to get, hell no. This is y'all paid a boatload for him. You know, it's just too many options, especially in the draft. It's cornerback rich. And you got two first-round draft picks. So, I mean, in reality, you can take one of them picks. You can take both of them picks and move back and get, and get more picks and still – Walk away secure at that position. You can go get Greedy Williams. You can try to get James Bradbury again to come to Detroit. I mean, and I give up nothing but some money. And it's more security behind that because I'm not giving up draft assets, right? And I'm paying them. I'm paying them. You know, so I already know what the security is like. So, you know, it is what it is. So we, I mean, so that's what they said they want first or second package. So, and they obviously not getting that on the market right now. So check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Find that all in the description or hit the link tree. It's the first link in the description. Peace.